step into the extraordinary narrative woven within the pages of this unique history book, the Bible. Unlike any other literary work in public libraries, it traverses the captivating journey from Earth's creation to its dramatic conclusion. Its unparalleled scope sets it apart, tackling the challenge of documenting events from the very inception, where no eyewitnesses were present. This exclusive position grants us insights into the origin and fate of our world, a privilege we alone hold. Beyond mere curiosity, the revelation of the future serves a crucial purpose, to equip us for what lies ahead. The Lord didn't unveil these prophetic insights for speculation but as preparation. As the sole bearers of this knowledge, we hold the key to understanding the unfolding of events, ensuring we are not caught off guard. This book invites us to explore a narrative that goes beyond historical accounts, offering a profound understanding of the past, present, and future. This history book is truly one of a kind, unlike any other you'll find on the shelves of public libraries. It delves into the fascinating narrative of the Bible, unfolding from the creation of the earth to the dramatic conclusion of the world itself. No other historical account spans such a vast spectrum of events on our planet. What sets this book apart is its unparalleled scope. It tackles the challenge of documenting events from the very beginning, where no eyewitnesses were present to chronicle the Earth's inception. This unique position grants us exclusive insights into both the origin and the eventual fate of our world. We, as the sole bearers of this knowledge, hold the key to understanding how it will all unfold, a privilege unlike any other. The revelation of the future wasn't simply to satisfy curiosity, but rather to equip us for what lies ahead. The Lord didn't disclose these prophetic insights for mere speculation, instead, it serves as preparation to prevent surprise and misinterpretation when those events come to pass. Gratitude is due to the forthrightness of Jesus in sharing the future's intricacies with us. Inquisitive minds often question whether we are currently witnessing the end times, but the Bible speaks of the last days, a period that has persisted for over two millennia. Pentecost marked the initiation of the last day, fulfilling the initial prophecy. Every generation of Christians is urged to live in a state of readiness for the impending return of the Lord. The Bible, a reservoir of predictions, houses a remarkable 735 prophecies about the future. Astonishingly, 81% of these predictions have already materialized, validating the scripture's accuracy. Confidence is instilled in us knowing that the remaining 19% will likely unfold as predicted. The Bible's track record is impeccable, every prophecy that could have been fulfilled by now has indeed come to pass. The focus now shifts to the predictions revolving around the return of Jesus and the subsequent events. Approximately 20 predictions are yet to be realized before the much-anticipated return of Jesus. The directive given by Jesus to watch and pray is a call to attentiveness, not to gaze passively at the sky, but to discern the signs unfolding in the world. Matthew 24 provides a comprehensive overview of the signs indicating the imminent return of Jesus. In essence, Jesus advises against panic, emphasizing that these tumultuous events are birth pains, signaling the arrival of something new. Christians are urged not to be alarmed but rather hopeful, recognizing these signs as precursors to the birth of a new world. The second sign focuses on changes within the church, encompassing persecution, a potential decline in size due to the strains of universal persecution, and the proclamation of the gospel to all nations. The third sign highlights Jerusalem's distress, geographically limited but with global ramifications. The fourth and final sign, heralded by the abomination of desolation, will lead to the swift culmination of events, with the sun darkening, stars falling, and the imminent return of the Son of Man Christians are encouraged to interpret these signs as indicators of the approaching fulfillment of God's plan rather than causes for alarm or dismay. Jesus concludes with a straightforward analogy involving a fig tree, urging believers to recognize the signs and be prepared for the imminent return of summer. The analogy serves as a reminder that when we observe these events unfolding, we can be confident that the long-anticipated moment is at hand. In conclusion, this extraordinary history book, the Bible, offers a thrilling journey through time, guiding readers through the past, present, and future with unmatched precision. As we navigate these prophetic revelations, we are called to remain watchful, prayerful, and hopeful, anticipating the glorious culmination of God's plan. 
The revelation of the future transcends mere curiosity, it's a divine provision to prepare us for what lies ahead. The Lord didn't disclose prophetic insights for speculation but as a strategic measure to avert surprise and misinterpretation when these events unfold. We owe gratitude to the forthrightness of Jesus for sharing the intricacies of the future. Amid inquiries about witnessing the end times, the Bible emphasizes the enduring period of the last days, spanning over two millennia since Pentecost initiated the prophecy's fulfillment. Generations of Christians are urged to remain ready for the impending return of the Lord. The Bible, a repository of predictions, hosts an astounding 735 prophecies, with an impressive 81% already materialized, validating its accuracy. Confidence is instilled as we anticipate the unfolding of the remaining 19%, given the Bible's impeccable track record. The focus shifts to predictions surrounding Jesus' return and subsequent events, with approximately 20 predictions awaiting realization. Jesus' directive to watch and pray calls for attentiveness, discerning unfolding signs in the world. Matthew 24 offers a comprehensive overview of these signs, and Jesus advises against panic, highlighting that tumultuous events are birth pains heralding the arrival of something new. Christians are encouraged not to be alarmed but hopeful, recognizing these signs as precursors to the birth of a new world. In essence, Jesus guides believers to navigate the future with watchfulness and anticipation, fostering a spirit of readiness for the transformative events prophesied.